This is chapter 23 and 24 summaries. Chapter 23 goes over the rules governing the issuance and trading of securities. Uh, the main one for this is the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is the federal administrative agency charged with overall responsibility for the regulation of securities. There's the Securities Act of 1933, which regulates generally the issuance of securities and ensures investors have full and fair disclosure. And there's three steps in this, which is pre-filing, filing, and post-filing. Then there's the Securities Act Exchange of 1934, which is where the SEC re regulates trading in securities. <clears throat> then there's the Dodd-Frank Act, which creates a registration process through the SEC for rating agencies wishing to become nationally recognized. There's the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, which um, amends the 1933 and 1934 Acts and other federal statutes. Lastly, there's e-commerce, which is online investing, modernize, which modernized the securities regulatory system. Chapter 24 talks about the antitrust laws. So trust they define trust as business arrangement in which owners of stocks and several companies place their securities with trustees who jointly manage the companies and pay out a specific share of their earnings to the securities holders. Examples of the antitrust laws include the Sherman Act of 1890, the Clayton Act of 1914, uh, the Federal Trade Commission Act of 1914, which enforces enforcement carried out by public and private sectors and then the parties that enforce the antitrust are justice departments federal trade commission and private parties the select activities exempt under the u.s antitrust law include the regulator regulated industries labor union activities intrastate activities and agricultural activities the Sherman Act is the federal statu statutes that make illegal every combination, contract, or conspiracy that is an unreasonable restraint of trade when this concerted action involves interstate commerce. Then there's collusion, which is concerted action by two or more individuals or businesses, business entities in violation of the Sherman Act. Then there's the Clayton Act of 1914, which pro prohibits price discrimination, tying exclusive dealing arrangement and corporate mergers that substantially lessen competition or tend to create a monopoly in interstate commerce.